Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another weekly vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. Yes, we're back. Today is Monday. I am shooting some looks with Maria in about an hour, so I'm getting myself together. Um, you guys, I'm just really excited because I have some fun things happening this week. Um, but First, I want to thank IT Cosmetics for partnering with me on this portion of the video. You guys already know I love their skincare. I've been using their Bye Bye Dark Spots, Bye Bye Pores, and their Confidence in a Cream for about a month now. And I love their skincare. What's great about their skincare is that it's developed with the insights of plastic surgeons and dermatologists so they can really get to your skin's needs and enhance everything and just make you feel good about yourself. But I also have my own coupon code for you guys. It is MAGIC35 for 35% off. That's an extra 5%. Thank me later. Or you can thank me now down, down in the comments. So yeah, you would have seen me use their Bye Bye Pores this morning um, before I did my makeup and made myself a coffee. Um, but I also love their makeup as well and they actually sent over a few new pieces of makeup which I'm very excited about. They sent over a blush, y'all know I'm really into blush, and a translucent poreless finish airbrush powder. Y'all know I have a problem with pores. The ones on my cheeks are huge. And so I'm going to set my makeup around my pores, like on my cheeks with this, the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. I usually set my uh, under eye with powder anyway, so I'm curious to see how this works. And then I also got the Bye Bye Pores Blush in Sweet Cheeks, and it is beautiful. So... Let's go ahead and finish my makeup because I started it earlier, but I didn't finish it. Oh, I also got a mascara. I'm always looking for a good mascara. So I got the IT, the it Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I love how it looks. It's super sleek and very precise with the brush. So let's finish my makeup with these. We're going to throw on my first outfit of the day. Um, that we're going to shoot and then we're going to head out. But I definitely want you guys to see how this all works. So let's start with the Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. Comes with a little, a little brush. I'm like, look how, how cute is this? It's a teeny tiny little pad you can put your finger on. Very, very cute. So let's see how this goes. I also have the IT Cosmetics um, Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder Brush. Just gonna dip a tiny bit and sit. Ooh, this brush is so soft. Oh wow, that really did set it. Like, look how matte this cheek looks. And it's very balmy outside today, so. Ooh, wet pores. <laughs> wet pores. I'm gonna link all of these products down below for you guys, including all of the skincare that I love from IT Cosmetics as well as the makeup that I've used from their foundation to their powders and mascaras. So you can get all of my faves for 35% off. Love this brush. Ooh, this is my new favorite. All right, wet pores. Love that for me. Um, I'm going to try the Bye Bye Pores Blush now in Sweet Cheeks. And this has a little bit of like a peachy sparkly look. We'll see what it does. It's barely there, but it did, you see the difference. It gives me just a little glow like I've been on an island. But it's very subtle, which I like. Okay. Mm. And let's finish with the Superhero It Cosmetic It Cosmetics Mascara. Again, don't forget. Ooh, that's one swipe. Nah, <laughs> this the one. I've actually been looking for a new mascara. I freaking love it. barely swipe y'all see the difference <laughs> i'm gonna leave this down below for y'all 
okay so i'm gonna finish up my makeup special thanks to it cosmetics for sponsoring this portion of the video remember you can use code magic 35 for 35 percent off of everything from november 20th to november 28th and i will link all of my favorites from their skincare especially the bye bye pores and the bye bye dark spots the serums and the confidence in a cream those are definitely my three favorites they have done wonders for my dark, dark spots and pores and skin. So yeah, if pores is an issue for you, try out their Bye Bye Pores makeup range because it's doing incredible things for me. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna finish up my makeup. Special thanks to It Cosmetics. Go to the link down below, check them out, use, use the code. Um, oh, by the way, because I know somebody's gonna ask, the dresses skims the house dresses are most of the time always skims um and i'll be sure to link it down below and everything i get in skims i always get a small because the stretch is incredible i actually believe this dress is a medium but i kind of went with a small though and i wish you guys could feel it because oh my goodness i don't know what kind of material this is but it feels soft to the touch almost like a suede but it's not it's super kind of thin but not see-through i think this comes in black it comes in like a beige and then this gray and i love like these little designs in it that you can barely see i'm all for an off the shoulder moment but i love the long sleeves for fall because you know it'd be a little chilly sometimes and i keep my ac on in miami like it's on all the time i never i never cut it off because if i did the humidity in my own apartment would destroy my hair and we can't have it so i'll link this one down below i also have another one that's super cute i wore it on my insta stories and i believe i sold that dress out i'll link that one down below too if you want to see what that one is just check the links all right let's throw on a lip i am shooting four campaigns today four nothing for me all campaigns um so yeah feeling really blessed and happy that so many brands are putting their faith in me during one of the busiest times of season of the season which is fourth quarter and the holidays omg this is good <laughs> i gotta order another one of these so i can have one in each makeup bag all right guys i'll check back in when i'm in my first look and we're headed to shoot with maria all right guys so i got myself together my first look i'm shooting is a holiday look from Walmart like can you see this dress let me lower you guys you can see this dress it's so cute and it comes in a few colors I think it is perfect for the holidays and then I'm pairing it with these little shoes which are super cute very on trend also from Walmart they really brought me on at a moment's notice um, in the previous vlog which still hasn't gone live yes today is monday usually my videos go live on sunday you guys i spent eight hours trying to upload that video to youtube yesterday and finally i just gave up i was on the phone with my internet service provider for like three hours they're supposed to come out here today ever since the storm that happened last week my internet has been very spotty just sometimes going out and i pay too much money um for my internet to be acting like that so yeah they sending somebody out today i have no idea when that vlog is going to go up honestly it might not even go up till tuesday when i'm back in new york and i can use my internet at home so if, it, if a video doesn't go live i'm okay i promise you it's just that there has something caused me not to be able to upload probably something technical or maybe i just got some other stuff going on but yeah it got me so uptight like oh like literally i started uploading that video at 11 a.m by 5 p.m it had only uploaded 19 percent, and i had it uploading on various computers it was just oh let me tell y'all technology issues are the bane of my existence anywho so i'm shooting this for walmart that has some really cute dresses i believe this dress was like 30 bucks so i'll be sure to link a few of my favorites down below i'm also shooting a nine west um campaign i am shooting a karen milling campaign 
Um, I've been working with them for years. Uh, and what else am I shooting? I'm shooting a little something for um, Javiana. So excited. Remember all of the things you see me shoot because I usually do a little montage. Everything is always linked in the description box. And if I have a coupon code, that'll be next to the link as well. So just gonna finish packing my bag, call myself an alto, and we are off to the Miami Design District where I'm gonna shoot today. I have a really cute spot for this dress. It's 12 o'clock now. I shot that green dress and the black shoes from Walmart. I shot an all black look for a Nine West with this super cute black on black bag from Nine West. I love this bag. I actually need more black bags, but I love how matte black this is with the black clasp and the gold hardware. Inside has lots of space, a zipper and a little pocket. Super cute. It's like pebbled and very, very supple. I like the back pocket as well. So if you're looking for really cute um, bags, great quality um, and a great price, definitely check out Nine West. I'll link this down below. And I also shot a Nine West watch. Their watches are super cute. I want to get a watch and this is the shape that I would go for. It's very cute. I'm not sure you can see it. So I'll link the bag, I'll link the watch, and then we shot these Nine West boots. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe, and so when I saw these, I was like, yes. I love the platform, I love that they are thigh high, very good quality, super comfortable, they have a little zipper on the side. Uh, so cute, right? I think these are great for fall and winter when you want height and you want a thigh high boot, but you don't want a heel. And platforms are kind of in right now. It's very much giving edge. So I went with an all black look for these. These are true to size for sure. So I'll link these down below. Um, after the Nine West look, we shot that Karen Millen coat. It is a kind of like a Shirley teddy bear coat with leather, um, like embellishment. Very, very cool. I'm not sure if you can see that material, but y'all i had to shoot this in miami and it's so freaking hot here but this coat is everything i'm telling y'all black is it and karen millen has some really great coats for winter like if you have a true winter and you want a nice coat this is the one i'll link this down below i ended up getting it in a medium and you can really cinch in the waist with this belt i also love the detailing on the pockets and I do have a code with Karen Millen. It will be down in the description box next to this coat. I'll also link a few more coats from them that are really great um, quality and great price. If you're looking for those. So after that, we headed to the beach. I needed to shoot a few holiday 
sandals from Javiana's. They sent me like six pair of these and I think they're so fun because a lot of people go away for the holidays to someplace warm, someplace tropical, whether you're going to an island, whether you're coming to Miami, maybe somewhere in California, and you still wanna be festive, but you still need to flip flop. And they got you covered. Like these are a beautiful like rose gold nude. Beautiful. They all have these fun little crystals on them. I have white, I have black, I have ombre. They are super cute. So I'll link these as well. They are also very, very comfortable. So we went to the beach and we shot a few of those. Did a little reel. I actually think that most of these things will be up over, up already over on my Instagram. So yeah, head on over there. Drop your girl three red hearts on some of these. Leave your girl a comment. Let me know which part of the vlog you enjoyed the most. All right, so by the way, these sunglasses are from And Other Stories. They're everything. The lip is Dior Beauty. Um, I don't know the color, but I'll link the exact one down in the description box. And of course, with the humidity, my hair has gotten bigger, bigger, and bigger. But it's fine. Tomorrow, I'm flying into New York for a fun event with Moo Blair at the Brooklyn Museum. Um, but before heading to that event, I'm actually going to get my hair braided. I want to try a new style. So yeah, my girl Kita is going to braid me up. And I'm going to take y'all with me. Um, so I'm going to head to a coffee shop now, clean all this mess up, try and get Sunday's vlog up, even though it's Monday, since my internet is going berserk. They said they can't come till Friday, which is ridiculous. I'm paying all this money to my HOA to have incredible speed internet, and the speed is not incredible. The speed is not speeding. The speed is giving slow, okay? <sighs> Anywho, head to a cafe, try and get this video up. I'm going to come back here, quickly pack and get myself ready to fly out to New York tomorrow morning. But if you are enjoying the video thus far, give it a thumbs up. By the way, this cover up, I can't remember where it's from. I'll try and link it below. The bathing suit below it is the crinkle bathing suit from ASOS. They come in a ton of different colors, very affordable. You could pick like whether you want a bandeau top, strappy, um, whether you want a high-waisted bottom, a brief cut. They have a bunch of different options, so I'll link it. All right, guys, I will check back in soon. Actually, I'll probably just check back in tomorrow um, when we are heading out or when we arrive in New York. All right, see you soon. I just left my girl Kita. I got my hair done. Usually I get the knotless, like super tiny, very long braids. This time I have 26 braids in my head. It took about two hours because she's very precise. They are very thick. I want you guys to see the thickness. And they are really long. Like this one comes to my waist. So yeah, I wanted them a little bit thicker. I didn't want as many um, because I don't plan on keeping these in very long, just probably until after Basel. So yeah, that's the look. <laughs> she is so like sweet because I send her so much business. She's just like, oh, just pay me whatever you want. So I actually don't know how much these cost. She would not tell me. She literally just was like, pay me whatever you want. Of course I paid her very well because she always manages to squeeze me in. Yeah, but I got my hair done and I'm actually in New York because I'm going to the Mugler exhibit uh, tonight at the Brooklyn Museum. It should be really fun. A ton of my friends are going. Um, and I just thought, this is not an event that I want to miss. I love Mugler. Um, so yeah, we're going to get a Mugler outfit together. And then we're going to head to the Brooklyn Museum tonight. They are having an after party, but I'm not going to that. I actually have plans after that. So yeah, 
oh by the way this is my travel look <laughs> um the shirt is the frankie shop these are i believe nasty gal sweats and then i have these my travel fuzzy socks y'all remember these because i don't play around with foot fungus and things at the airport um yeah you gotta have socks <laughs> so yeah i really love how they look i'll give you a better view um before i head out um but yeah they're still a little wet but i love them very sleek a little bit heavy a lot heavier than like my knotless super thin braids because you know it's more hair but yeah no pain and pretty quick all right guys here at the brooklyn museum i'm gonna have to show you my outfit inside but i'm wearing this uh awake mode and other stories of blazer again and my Mugler jeans but yeah we're here and I'm gonna show you guys inside flew in this morning um last night was super fun i ended up going to the brooklyn museum for the mugler ex exhibition and it is incredible if you are in the brooklyn new york area you have to go check it out like it was incredible just seeing all of these pieces and collections that he did over 
the past, I don't know, four, five decades. Like, incredible. I even saw the dress that um, Kylie Jenner wore to, I believe, the CFDA um, Awards. Wow. Like, to see it up close, insane. I ran into a few friends there. It was nice to see them. Um, they had like a little party on the third floor where you can get drinks and just kind of mingle and then the exhibition is on the fifth floor. I'm not sure how long it's going until but I'll put the details down below. But I did want to show you guys it just in case like a lot of you are not in New York and maybe you won't be able to make it to see the exhibition but I did include you know little bits and pieces so you got a feel for it. I ended up wearing these Mooglare jeans. I don't know if you guys remember these jeans. But I got them a while ago um, in a Farfetch haul when I was working with Farfetch. And that was like the perfect occasion to wear them. Um, I ended up wearing them with that Awake Mode open back coat or blazer in collaboration with um, and other stories. I think this is coming back in stock, you guys. So if you're interested, I'll link it down below. So yeah, I've only been back for about an hour, but before I left yesterday, I had a ton of packages. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys some PR I got in. I got some new end things from Dior Beauty. You guys know I'm working with Dior. And they sent me a few of their affordable gift sets. because so I wanted to do a range for you all, like a few things under $200, under $100 that would make great gifts from Dior. I also got a shipment in that I ordered from ShopBob. I ordered a bunch of like laundry detergents. So I'm gonna show you which ones are my favorite. And then I just got a box in from a PR company that I work with who represents a lot of spirits. I've gone to a ton of their spirits events and the box is huge. So I'm guessing there is like some kind of spirit in there. So we'll open that. Um, I'm back in my skims. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to show you guys my hair. So I went to my girl Kita and she did these knotless, kind of like they're, they're thicker. I don't know if you can see, um, but these are past waist lengths. These are like very, very long. There's only 26 of them. I think it took her maybe an hour and a half, an hour and a half to do them because she's very precise. But yeah, they're a little bit heavy. Um, I think it's just going to take a day or two for my tender scalp to get used to this thickness. I don't know if you could see. Because this doesn't like to. But yeah, this is the look. I'm probably going to have these in until after Basel. So I won't have to do my hair for like the next, I don't know, two, maybe three weeks. So yeah, happy to not have to do my hair. And again, back in this Skims dress that I've linked down below. So I'm just gonna get myself together, finish unpacking, and then I'm going to show you guys some new end uh, purchases and gifts. All right guys, so let me show you my new bag from Kurt. Geiger, they do really fun, colorful bags. And who doesn't want a super cute silver box bag? Now I have only one other silver bag from Balenciaga, but I've been getting more into silver and I am just loving this one. So as you can see, it has like a silver chain. Um, it's kind of, what is that material? It's like a patent leather, and you can see it has the Kurt Geiger London right here, and this little head that they're known for. Very, very cute. In the back, it has a little pocket as well, and I love that it's mirrored. I think it's so fun. It's the perfect size. Let me show you inside. So it has two magnetic closures here. On the inside, it's black. So it comes with a dust bag and it has two large compartments and a zippered, um, not a zippered, but a um, card holder, a large one and a small one. I think this is actually a card in here. Oh no, it actually came with a little card holder as well. 
very very cool but i think this will just be great because i do have some silver shoes that are that is very similar to this bag and i think this is the name of the bag i'll link this down below it does come in like a few different colors that i think you all would love but the silver i think is great for the holidays and it's the perfect little box size so good so shout out to the kurt geiger team for sending this over this would be great to top off some of my holiday looks okay next up from dior beauty i got these three holiday gift sets the first one is the the dior addict set um this looks super fun this one is the rouge dior set it's a collection of lipsticks and it also comes with a little pouch you can see the front here beautiful packaging dior always has great packaging and then i have the dior addict beauty set and you can kind of see all of the things that come inside but i'm going to open all three of these give you the price points i'm going to link them down below if you're looking for some great holiday beauty gifts luxury holiday beauty gifts from dior again i do have a code it's monroe 22 all capital letters for two free gifts with a purchase over 150 dollars at dior beauty let's let me show you this one first i think I'm, I'm most excited about the dior addict beauty set all right so you open the box and look at this uh it's a beautiful blue uh suede beauty case that alone is such a great gift. And you see the Christian Dior CD there as well. So this is what we have inside. We have the Miss Dior perfume, like a little mini, really cute. We have the lip maximizer, um, lip plumper. We have the lip glow. And then we also have the dream skin. So you get a little bit of skincare and a little bit of beauty and a fragrance and then of course this little uh, makeup case that's great for traveling so i'll link this set down below let's get into the dior addict set next again all of these come with that really great pouch that you can use for traveling so in this one we have the lip glow oil in cherry love that if you're a lip like gloss kind of girl this is great and then we have this this is the dior addict uh nude lip i'm gonna open it up and see what it looks like but already i love the case it's just so chic so this is the nude i think it's called 100 and i just love the packaging on this it's so good so i'll link this uh gift set down below as well Last but not least, we have the Dior Rouge set. Ooh, this one is a little heavy. Again, with the makeup pouch. And here we have the trio of Christian Dior lipsticks. This is probably the best one for me because I love a good lip and you get a pretty good variety here. These are the colors. I'm gonna open them up so you can see. Okay, so these are the three that you get. You get a balm. I love their lip balm. It is so moisturizing. You get red, their classic red uh, 999, which is a really wonderful red. And then you get a really nice nude. Uh, yes. So those are three sets, beauty sets, from Christian Dior that are great gifts for the holidays. You see the packaging. It's absolutely stunning. You get makeup cases with all of them and then you get cool products. So I'll make sure to link all three of these down below um, along with some of my candle favorites from Dior like this one. <laughs> this is my absolute favorite, the 30 Montagna Christian Dior candle. Wow, it comes in a set. But yeah, you can get candles at Christian Dior, you can get makeup, you can get beauty um, and you can again use my code for two free gifts. All right guys, last but not least, um, a few weeks ago I went to an event in New York City um, for Glenn Morangi Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. It was such a beautiful event. They created this forest 
It was so nice. I had to take the ferry to Governor's Island to get there. Um, but the PR team reached out to me. Let me bring you guys over here. Here we go. And said they wanted to send me a gift, which is super sweet. Um, I'm going to open it up and see what's in here. How cool. So this is like a little picnic blanket, which is great. I can use this for the beach. It's waterproof and it has their logo on it. I don't know if you can see it, but this is wonderful. I definitely need something like this for like picnics and beach days here at, in Miami. So this is great. I know exactly where to store this too. Um, and then they also sent me a bottle, which is going to look really nice on my little wine rack. How cool, look, it's a specialty bottle. So as you can see, it says a tale of the forest on there. Flip it over. Oh, beautiful. I love this box. This is stunning. I don't think I can keep the box though, but I'm gonna definitely keep the bottle. Let's take it out. So I wanna put it on my bar cart. Ooh, so nice. This will be great to make um, hotty toddies. When I was at their event, they were making hotty toddies with this and it was so delicious. That would be so great for like fall, winter, you know, just to make it feel festive, even though it does not get cold here in Miami. So yeah, shout out to them for sending this to me. I'm gonna put this on my bar cart now. So I just ordered a little lunch. I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything all, all morning. <laughs> I was flying. Um, and I'm gonna check back in when I'm getting ready um, to head to an event tonight. I'm going to a cocktail and dinner that's hosted by Mario Carbone, who, um you guys know carbone it's like the hottest one of the hottest restaurants um in miami and new york so that should be fun i think ria's going um so i'll take you guys to that with me and then tomorrow we have two events i'm going to an ice skating event at bar harbor shops um, and i think that's followed up with the lunch which should be really fun and then i have another event in the evening i believe it's a hotel opening it's just a lot going on so this vlog is going to be a good one so yeah i will link everything you guys saw me share with you down below in the description box and you all can check it out let's put this on my bar cart i'm going to eat some lunch i have to post some stories for nike and uh I'm just gonna relax until it's time to head out in the evening. So I'll check back in when we are getting ready to head to the event. All right guys, getting myself together, about to head to this dinner. I am wearing this um, Roberto Cavalli dress that I got from Ukes. I believe it's pretty old. I've worn it a few times, but I thought, you know, it's a nighttime event um, and it's colorful and it's cute. Just did my regular makeup look. The lip is Makeup by Mario. I believe it's Daniela. I'm gonna wear my uh, Joseph Duclo Saint Clair perfume this evening. Remember I bought this in Paris. It smells, it smells divine. I'm gonna wear this and then I'm gonna mix it with Tay Noir because that one is really pretty and this one is really kind of mysterious so I think it's a good combo so I just mix that with the Tay Noir from Lalabo so I think for the earrings we're gonna do these little Zara earrings and then I'm gonna toss on my heels I'll show you guys the full look Although I've worn this kind of look quite a bit. What is happening here? And I'm also running late. Okay, I'll, I'll check in a minute. All right guys, so you've seen this look before in a Miami vlog. I've also shot this look, I believe last summer, but this is the Roberto Cavalli dress. It has these little gold accents on the straps. 
Zara earrings, Loewe balloon sandals. These are always a conversation starter, so I think it's a great night to wear them. And of course, my Chanel Sin bag. And then I just mixed the Lalabo and the Joseph Duclo scents, and I'll link everything down below. All right, let's go to dinner with Mario Carbone. dinner last night but it was really fun um so i ended up going to the one year anniversary like party cocktail dinner at ha salon it's here in miami beach um and it was hosted by chef eyal shani and mario carbon um and it was great <laughs> i had fun it was so many friends that i saw there rio was there um my girl Taylor was there. All the girls were there. Like, it was really, really fun. Um, just to catch up with everybody and have a lovely dinner and dessert. The ambiance in that restaurant is so sexy. It's very, like, date night. Very candlelit. It's a good spot. So, if you are in the Miami area or you're visiting, that's a great spot to go for, like, an intimate date night. Or, you know, dinner with friends. Um, and it's family style, so really, really nice. So I got up today, made myself a coffee. Um, I actually did a ton of work this morning on my computer. Like all of the events and promotions for Basel are starting to come in. So I feel like the next couple of vlogs are gonna be like Basel vlogs, which is great. This will be my second Basel. I have so many people like DMing me, like asking me for recommendations, but that's not really how Basel works. There's not a schedule with events and things to do, um, like Fashion Week. It doesn't work like that. Um, there is the art show that you could buy tickets to. That's from December 1st to the 3rd. And you can go to the convention center and check out the art. And then they also have the design where you can see furniture and things. But as far as events, there's not like a schedule. There's not a calendar of events. It's just like whoever emails me and invites me to something um, or wants me to work an event. That's how I know about that event. So, yeah. So I, I can't really give any recommendations because it's never the same. Um... 
every season different brands come and do different activations so it's always different so sorry if i can't be more helpful <laughs> about that but yeah i just i don't know i don't know what's going on unless someone hits me up in my dms and or in my email and invites me to something so yeah that's how basel works there's no schedule like fashion week there's no schedule um where you can see what's happening uh so yeah Today, I have been invited to the Oscar de la Renta fashion show and luncheon at Faena. Um, it was pretty last minute. I was supposed to actually go to another event, um, but I can't do both at the same time. And this is, I can't pass this up. I did go to the Oscar de la Renta My Teresa um, party in New York in a previous vlog, but I would love to see the show um, and also meet, uh, meet everyone. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get myself together and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Um, I was invited by Neiman Marcus, so shout out to them. And I think I'm gonna know a couple of people who are gonna be there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for today. And we're gonna head over to Faena for the show. I think it's at 12. I have no idea what time it is for the show and for the luncheon. I probably need to leave here very soon. What time is it? Yeah, I literally have like 45 minutes to get myself together. All right, guys. I think this is what, day four of the vlog? Yeah, day four. Let's go. guys so I got myself together I did just a quick everyday makeup look I did use some of the it cosmetics bye bye pores um, powder to set my makeup and it looks great the lip is a NARS mysterious red velvet matte lip pencil I don't have any Oscar de la Renta uh, ready to wear um, but I do have lots of accessories so I'm wearing my favorite Oscar de la Renta earrings they're like a raffia and they go with the white or the off-white in this uh, Mara Hoffman dress. I think I wore this to an event at um, the Plaza um, earlier in the year. Or was it last year? Everything is just running together. But I'm gonna show you the full look. I'm just gonna pop on my shoes, pick a bag, pick a fragrance, and then we will get the whole look together. I think I'm gonna go with, um, the Joseph Duclos, because I've just been loving how this smells. And of course, Maison Francis Kirk de Jean. We love a little Baccarat Rouge 540. But adding this one as a base layer gives it a little bit of a twist. Like people know that it's Baccarat that I have on, but they can't place what else, which is what I love. And a lot of you are asking, like, how do I know what to mix? I just, I just mix it and see if I like it. <laughs> um, I don't have any method. Sometimes I like to pair very, very girly with something a little masculine to tone it down. But other than that, I just play around with it. All right, guys. So here is the full look. You've seen this dress before. It's quite old. But if I can find any online, I will link it. Mara Hoffman has really great, beautiful, colorful dresses. And I love the material on this. It's like a little crinkle. Really cool. Paired it again with my Loewe balloon sandals. I love these so much because they're very comfortable. I can walk around in them all day and they're always a conversation starter. Like people go nuts for these. Last night when I wore them, people were so into them. Um, so I'll link them down below. Again, the earrings, Oscar de la Renta, the lip, NARS Mysterious Red. Um, and you already know my two fragrances. I just need to pick a bag. Let's see which bag. Okay, I think we're gonna go with Old Faithful, <laughs> my Chanel sandbag. Um, yeah, so that's the look. Let's head to Faena to check out the Oscar de la Renta fashion show and luncheon with Nima Marcus.
guys just leaving the Oscar de la Renta Nima Marcus spring summer 2023 show and then there was a lovely like lunch and it was so delicious I had the fish and it was so good um, but it's right next door to Faina Bazaar and you guys know I love shopping there so I'm gonna pop in there see if there's anything I can see I have a ton of events coming up and I need like fun festive dresses like this everyone really loved my outfit too I also saw Jody the fashion director at Neiman Marcus um, I last saw her in Paris we're always like meeting outside of New York which is funny um, but yeah it was such a beautiful show everything was just so lovely I also got to meet the designer um, Fernando and I got a photo with him and he was very gracious and kind um, so now over here they have more few I don't know if you guys remember but they have like these beautiful vintage dresses in there so I'm gonna pop into Morphew and then I'm gonna pop into Payena Bazaar and just see if I can find anything nice um, and then we're gonna head home because I have a ton of deadlines like the whole time I was at this event I was getting pinged with work work emails like events that I have to RSVP to for Basel and it's just a lot so I want to do some me time shopping and then we'll go home and we'll try and get all of this work done before five but yeah we're gonna pop into more few first and then we'll head into Faina Bazaar time um i tried on this beautiful black dress i can't remember the brand if i can find it i'll link it down below it didn't fit that well um which is why i didn't get it but i love that look um at faena curio bazaar yeah i didn't end up getting that dress but it's okay everyone loved my outfit today like i got so many compliments um, and I got to meet some really amazing people, including um, Fernando Garcia, who is the creative director of Oscar de la Renta. Um, yeah, it was so fun. Um, so now I have a ton of things to do. Um, I literally, <laughs> I don't know why I spread myself like this, but I'm spread like, like jelly right now. Um, I'm trying to get a brand to uh, approve a video and I feel like they're going to take forever. This is why I really dislike doing integrations on YouTube when it needs to be like reviewed because then it takes forever. The video never goes up on time. It's like they want it super quick and then they get it and they just sit with it for days and I don't, I'm on a schedule. So I'm trying to decide whether I'm just going to scrap it and just take the L or try to put it in another video, which I think I can't. Um, we'll see. I might end up scrapping it from the video. Like sometimes it just happens like that. I'm just like, look, I can't do it because y'all gonna take too long and the people need the video. So yeah, I also have an inbox full of work. Mostly people are hitting me up about doing Basel campaigns. Some of the brands are incredible like luxury brands that i have never worked with before ah! i'm excited i can't tell y'all who it is yet but basel is coming up soon so you'll see in the vlog but yeah like the way my inbox is looking right now it's good all right guys so i'm gonna take this dress off put on something a little more comfy and pretty much i'm gonna work for the rest of the day it is is it five? It's five o'clock. So I'm gonna work for 
I don't know the rest of the day. I'm gonna check in with you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna do a workout tomorrow for sure. Wait, what's tomorrow? What's today? Today's Thursday. Ooh, I gotta put up my Nine West content. So yeah, I work with Nine West. I shot with them. You saw it at the beginning of the video. I have to post my in feed post now. So if you're coming from today's video, head on over there on Instagram and give me two red hearts in a comment. Let me know what you liked most from this vlog over on my Nine West post. They're having a 50% off almost everything sale right now, and it's incredible. I'm gonna link a bunch of my favorite boots and purses and accessories from Nine West that are currently on sale right now down in the description box. And I think they also now do like different widths of shoes. When I was checking online, I think I saw that. So yeah, check the description box. Um, so I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. I also have some new in pieces from and other stories um, that I'm gonna show you guys. And I also got something in from um, Rat and Boa. So we'll do a little mini fall, Miami fall, because none of this stuff you can wear in fall for real, if there was an actual fall here. And we'll do a little mini haul tomorrow and a workout. And then, yeah, we'll be celebrating Rio's birthday this weekend. So I'm gonna see if I can squeeze that into the video as well. We'll see what, what my editor says. All right, guys, super fun day. If I can find this dress anywhere, cause it's old, I'll link it down below. But I ah, can't believe I got to hang out with Austin and Lorenza and even Marcus. Like, wow. I'm really blessed. Like, thank you, God. Like, life is amazing. I'm enjoying it. It's good. I mean, I'm here, there, everywhere, but I'm loving it. I'm going to slow down, though, after Basel, for sure. Like, I might take all of December off. We going to see y'all. All right. I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. day of the weekly vlog I told you guys I was going to show you some things today I've actually been up for several hours working and fixing my internet it has been a mess truly a mess but I did tell you guys that I was going to be showing you some new end products today that I ordered and got in so first I want to start with this house dress it is so beautiful the back is open it's like a little halter. It is double lined in the bust area, um, but it's not see-through at all. It's super stretchy and just, ugh. I'm wearing a small, this is from Skims. This is the house dress that I wore on my stories and everyone was asking about it. So I got this dress and the gray off the shoulder one that I've been wearing um, pretty much mostly every morning of the vlog, both from Skims both in a small, normally I'm a medium, but I always size down. So I'll be sure to link this down below. It's a great little house dress moment. Of course you can wear it out, but for me, it's a house dress. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll link this one down below along with a few others that I'm loving um, from Skims. I love all of Skims pieces. Okay, next up. I ordered this black dress from Rat and Boa. Now I also have this dress in red. I wore it on Instagram during, Christ during Christmas um, here in Miami Beach last year. I'll pop some of those pictures up here if I can remember from my Insta. Um, but originally I wanted the dress in black but it was out of stock for so long and it finally came back in stock. So it is see-through. Um, it has these beautiful ruffles. Um, the thing is, when you put it on, it's not very see-through. Um, of course, I would probably wear this at the beach or as like a cover-up, um, but if you're wearing this at night, no one's gonna be able to see through it. I believe when I wore the red one, 
I only had an underwear on with that and you can't see through it. And I was in broad daylight on the beach. So yeah, such a beautiful dress. It has a lovely side slit. I can't remember the price on this one. Um, it's one of their more expensive dresses, but of course I've been getting into black and I just thought that this would be absolutely stunning for like um, a New Year's dinner um, on the beach. So yeah, first up from Rat and Boa, this piece. Next up, my friends over at And Other Stories sent me this gorgeous dress. Actually, I told them this is what I wanted. Um, I do work with them on occasion and every month they send me a few pieces to share with my audience. And I just thought this is perfect for the holidays. It is like reflective circles. It's pretty heavy. Um, this is a medium large. It also comes in an extra small small, but I like the medium large so that it's just skimming and it's not sticking to my body and hurting. Um, this is so beautiful. I don't know if this is on sale, um, but this is just great for a place like Miami or if you're doing, doing something in a warm weather location for the holidays, you can wear a little bathing suit under, under this or even like flesh colored um, shapewear would work as well. But it's just so beautiful and I love the bottom, how the bottom has those different reflective shapes. It's a beautiful dress. Um, the price on this was $249, um, but I'm not sure if it's currently on sale. But yeah, this is definitely a statement piece. And if I don't wear this like for the holidays, I'll find somewhere to wear it like during Basel perhaps. But yeah, a beautiful piece from and other stories. I'll link this down below along with any other things for like the holidays and for fall and winter that I'm loving from and other stories because they always have some incredible pieces. And last but not least, I got two pieces in from the brand The Psy. Um, earlier this summer, they sent me this stunning green dress. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, yes. So earlier in the summer, they sent me this green kind of like ribbed knit off the shoulder dress. And when I wore it, you guys loved it so much. They're just a beautiful brand. Um, but they sent me two dresses. I got to pick them out. One is purple and it's like a sateen material. It's a mini dress. It has a little bit of ruching and draping and tiny little um, arm straps, which I love. I think they're like very dainty and sexy. And of course, I'm getting more into purple. So yeah, I went with this purple dress. If I can find this, I think they have this at a few different places. Um, I'll link this down below, but also just a fun holiday dress. You could throw a black blazer over top and it'll be perfect. And then I also got this two piece set also from the side. And this one, oh, y'all know I love green. It's one of my favorite colors. So we have this asymmetrical, kind of like a midi skirt, again, in a satin material. It has a very high slit. And then it has a matching little top here that's separate. And it can tie up different ways in the front and around your neck to make it a halter. I got this in a size six, both of the pieces. Now I find that sometimes their pieces can run just a tiny bit small. So we'll see, I will definitely do cutaways so you guys can see these pieces. So yeah, not too much new in. Oh wait, I feel like I have one more thing. I don't know if I even showed this to you guys already, but I feel like I may have shown it to you. This is another piece from and other stories. Um, it's really given rat and boa because I have this top in like purple, I have it in zebra print. Um, all from Rat and Boa, but lots of people now are starting to make these tops. The Rat and Boa ones are a little bit more expensive, but this one is from And Other Stories. It's just a black um, sheer top that has two strings that you can tie in the front. And what I love about this is even though it's sheer, when I put it on, you can't see through it. So I have no problems wearing this like by itself, especially here in Miami. Like. You seen one nip, you seen them all. 
Um, but yeah, this is a great alternative to the rat and bull ones. If you want to see the rat and bull ones, let me grab one. So yeah, they are very similar. This is like one of my ones from Rat and Boa. And this is from And Other Stories. Like they're almost exactly the same. So yeah, that's what I got that is new in. Not a whole lot, but just a quick little mini haul. And everything I've shown you guys will definitely be linked down below. So I have quite a bit of work to do. <laughs> this is the busiest season ever. Um, I booked another gig with Dior, so I'm very excited about that. Remember, all of the products that I showed you from Dior are linked down below. They have some great holiday gifts. Um, and also, special thanks to IT Cosmetics for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Again, I'm loving their skincare, the Bye Bye Pores, um, the Bye Bye Dark Spots, and the Confidence in a Cream. Those are my three favorite for skincare, and I'm loving their mascara ever since I got it. Um, the superhero mascara i've been using it non-stop um, and again they are having a sale you can use my exclusive code magic 35 for 35 percent off okay don't forget to use my code y'all and again i've linked all of those uh skincare products and makeup products from it cosmetics down below so we're gonna go ahead and end this weekly vlog even though it's only friday I wanted to film tomorrow as well because we are going to be celebrating my girl Rhea's birthday and of course we're going to be on a boat. I'm about to be on a boat tomorrow. I'm about to be on a yacht. But what I'm going to do is just record that footage and put it in the next vlog and I'll rewind it back and show you guys how we live it up on a boat for my girl's birthday. And then we are hopping right into December content, going back to two videos a week, maybe three, um, and getting ready for Basel. So if you wanna see the outfits, like if you would like for me to do a separate video on how I prepare for Basel, um, sound off below in the comments. All right, remember everything in today's video that you have seen is linked down below in the description box. I appreciate you guys spending all this time with me. It's not lost on me that these videos are quite long and that you're actually giving your time to me. And I appreciate that so much. Thank you guys so much. Um, but don't forget to thumbs up the video. Thumbs it up. I'll wait. I'll wait. And subscribe. If you're not subscribed, come on, join the fam. You know, we we keep it, we keep it fun, we keep it light, and we keep it real over here. Alright, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.